from here. I decided to donate to the campaign because it was time to step up and support the president and um, this is a, obviously a very important election. Such a tiny donation has resulted in such a huge prize. This is awesome. When you realize you're sitting down and having dinner, dinner with the president, that just makes it really extraordinary. Ready? I think so. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity and chose to bring my mom because she shaped my, my view of the world so I thought she'd uh, appreciate it as much as I do. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Hey. Yes. Nice to meet you, Mr. President. Oh, I was nervous before they walked into the room, and as soon as they did, all my nervousness went away. Good thing bringing your mom. Yeah. <laughs> it speaks to how genuine they both are. That's toast. Toast. To the start of the school year. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, what questions do you guys have for us? If you could do one policy without any political opposition and see it through exactly how you would wish it done, what would that policy be? We could put a million people back to work right now, uh, and we've put forward a, a policy to do it, which would basically involve helping states and local communities rehire teachers, firefighters, police officers who've been laid off. The other component of this is, you know, we've got about $2 trillion worth of improvements that we've got to make on roads, bridges, airports, national parks. This is all deferred maintenance. It's all work that's going to have to be done anyway. It'd be the equivalent of you having a leaky roof and a bad boiler and all this stuff. So between those two things, we could have a million people at work right now. That would make a big difference. Right. It was like you were talking to your neighbor or someone next door. It's nice to know that you can still have a powerful position and be a regular person. Sasha's going into sixth grade, and Malia's going into her first year of high school. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Don't okay. remind me of that. So, yeah. <laughs> we have a 10 and a 13-year-old, both oh, yeah. girls, right, okay. right behind so you. you guys are right, right yes, on the sir. same pace. So now, how do you all feel about Facebook and all Not that yet. sort of stuff? Not yeah. yet. Do they text? Do they? Well, we had you know, a discussion about telephones. And yes, mommy bought the telephones because we all go in different she did directions. The same thing. Because I was all like, who are they calling? <laughs> Sitting there and listening to how they raise their family and what their core values are, you can't go wrong. <laughs> you just can't go wrong. Fifth grade's around the time where they get embarrassed about you hugging them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. One of my favorite things was for my 50th birthday. The girls came up and they decided our top 10 list of you know, why you're the greatest dad ever. The favorite line I had was, you are right on the line between funny and embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing, but not too embarrassing. You're just the right amount. I just had dinner with Barack and Michelle Obama with my husband, and it was an incredible experience. Thank you, Mr. President. It was Thank great you. meeting you. It was really good to meet you. I'm encouraged to speak to as many folks as possible, friends, family, and just share my experience and tell them why I support the President. <laughs> it's even more important now that everyone that believes in a vision that he has for America gets involved. And whether it be a small donation, uh, working for voter registration, going door to door, whatever small thing they can do. Anything can help, and we are the product of a great night from a small donation. Thank you so much. We had a great time. Vote, vote, vote. Donate, donate, donate. <laughs>